thinking in terms of what of of is your culture like I say like is your culture bottled by buying bottles is your culture strip clubs is like none of that shit is important none of that shit and all that shit I'm telling you like this kept like again like this is the this is the wonderful unfortunate second death of Kevin Samuels and shit like you know what I mean like I'm glad the brother I'm not glad he did, but I'm like, you know, I hope he like, you know, he, he's he's happy and, and healthy. I mean, I don't know he's gone, but I need his ideology to die. I need all that old high value man shit to die. That's what I'm saying. Like all that if that shit ain't dead, then 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 then, then we need six more months, then that shit'd be dead. Where all that high value shit going now shit and shit. You know what I'm saying? Peace to the gods. Oh that welcome, welcome. But yeah, like where where where's all that high that high value man shit now? I had a motherfucking chick tell me I'm in a motherfucking store up in the um supermarket. Not where I'm at. I'm in a cheesesteak joint. And uh and I'm just getting my food. It's a little chubby chick. She had on shorts, she had a big ass. But I, it was like cellulite all up on her ass, with, like on her legs and shit. So I'm like, you know, she all right. Fuck it. That ain't my type. So I got my food. And while I got her food, while I get my food, she started talking to me. And while she talking to me, she got like a little thing in her tongue, like a little tongue ring. So I'm like, uh, tongue ring? I don't know. It's like, but the way she was doing it, it was like real fucking freaky. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I played along for a second. And I was like, you know what? Like, you know, I might take you off on the weekend. Cause the so the chicks find out that she worked for the bus people. Like she drive a bus, right? Like, yeah, she, I'm like, you drive a bus. I'm like, where well, you take vacations and stuff? Like, you know, I might take you on the weekend. She's like, yeah, you go out of the country. I'm like, go out the country. I was like, nah, I'm go out the country. I go anywhere but out the country. She's like, oh, that's where I'm trying to go. And, the, and the, so the girl behind her was like, the, is, a, is a little Latin girl that worked in the motherfucking chicken stop. Said, yeah, she want to go to Dubai. She like, yeah, you trying to go to Dubai. I'm like, bitch, you going to go to Dubai and come back and drive a bus? <sighs> These motherfuckers is crazy. <laughs> like, you got, like, you done lost your motherfucking right. Like, you, why would you even want to go to Dubai and come back to drive a bus? Why would you want to go to Dubai and come back and work at a chicken shack? Like, these motherfuckers is mentally fucked up. Like, for real, if a motherfucker take you somewhere on the weekends, you come back and you drive your bus and you put your mask on and mind your fucking business. Like, you acting like, like, that's what I be saying. This Kevin Samuel shit is trippy. A motherfucker, listen, man, if you on welfare, you're not getting no high value, man, bro. Snap the fuck out of it. The fuck? No, nigga. You better find a nigga and split your motherfucking welfare with this nigga. Like, yo, like, all my niggas, bro, like, I be wanting to get back to my niggas, too, because y'all know I feel bad for niggas. I, I love these women. Y'all know I love these girls, and I never hate on these girls. I know these girls out here manipulating the fuck out of these niggas, but niggas, y'all got to stop the shit. For real, bro. So, yeah, man, I, I hope that Kevin Samuel shit die so we could get back to peace and unity. You know what I'm saying? We can get back to peace and unity and shit. But don't be out here giving these girls nothing, bro. Like, I had to learn. I told you I wanted to date with the girl after the club. The girl, they brought me dinner and all this shit. Like, there's some real motherfuckers out here. They're the only motherfuckers I'm trying to fuck with. Like, them type of chicks. Like, my home, like, every time, like, no disrespect. Like, but that's what's on my mind lately. Like, like, uh, like, for real, like, like, some real funny shit. I'm like, bro, like, this shit is atrocious. Like, a motherfucker... Like, y'all got to pay for niggas. Ladies, y'all know what handsome is, ladies? How many of y'all ladies know what handsome is? When y'all say a man is handsome. Yeah, y'all got to pay for this nigga. You know what I mean? This nigga worth a handsome. You ain't got a handsome? Oh, you can't fuck with this nigga? Some of these niggas, you know what I mean? You got, I mean, I'm sorry. Some of these niggas is handsome. You know, and I understand motherfuckers don't understand that shit. But like they say, like, you know, you like like your dad had to pay a, a dowry to a nigga. He had to pay somebody to take these women. You know what I'm saying? 
they had to pay somebody to take these women and shit. That's the type of time I'm on, yo. I know niggas don't like me. It's cool. You ain't got to like me. I'm keeping it 1,000 and shit. That's the shit y'all got to be on, man. That Kevin Samuels shit done fucked everybody head up. It got niggas losing their minds. Everybody ready. Like, and again, see how see what chasing these crackers do for you and shit. And you know how, like I say, like, like I was telling you all about um, the mortgages and all that shit. And how the housing market is so fucked up. But people don't know that the housing market is fucked up because the houses are so high. But when you go to buy a house, the seller going to give you cash back. You're going to have 0% down because of this government shit. And they got all these ways to get you into these expensive ass houses. They be giving niggas cash back on signing. I know motherfuckers be getting 40000 back, 50000 back on signing. They do it like, it make you think that these houses worth all that shit. And we play along with that shit. And after all that fuck shit that we did to get the loan, to, to we, we got the appraisal increase higher. Motherfuckers going to give us more money on a loan. Yeah. Wow. And it's, more, and it's worth more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you did was fuck up your taxes, nigga. Like, the government loved this shit. Because everybody... We, the government don't know that these that these houses ain't worth what they worth. We said it's worth it. We paid what it's worth. They don't know that we get money back for on when we move in. They don't know that we got a zero percent down because we got a government loan. Nope. They want their tax money done, and they tax money going up. It. I'm telling y'all, this is a good fucking thief. These is good thieves. Good thieves. But it's so many. <laughs> it's so many broke niggas it's hard to have a conversation and shit you know what I mean a guy gonna show you how to be a guy or or ignore you like that's where we at with this shit like it's it's possible for like 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 it's possible for you to leave a girl where you left where you found her you know what I'm saying like come on now I, it's okay you can't save everybody don't save her. She don't want to be saved. It's okay. I'm not trying to impress every girl I meet and shit. You know what I mean? Like I tell you, I, you meet a pretty girl and shit and the chick, you know, come on now. She still got roaches and rats. How about that? We'll just leave it at that. Like y'all better stop letting this these fake hair that niggas get men weaves and all this shit these 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 pretty ass teeth these niggas be fucking buying and shit all that shit like i say bro all that shit is just a waste of fucking time and shit trying to save a motherfucking nigga they don't love they don't want to be they don't like yourself and shit how you gotta do all that shit nigga because you and like i said bro being ugly is fun the fuck being ugly is fun please i have fun being ugly you know what i mean the fuck like i'm telling you man y'all should try it sometimes all y'all motherfucking pretend pretend pretty motherfuckers always gotta be pretty and, and primped up and trying to impress a motherfucker and don't get no pussy at all like y'all understand like it's certain motherfucking chicks that you know she she's gonna make this nigga gonna take her on a date. This nigga gonna go out. This nigga gotta spend some money to get some pussy. And this and the regular nigga don't. He's the cool nigga. He's the fun nigga. He's 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 not spending money. That's that's a life. <coughs> Niggas need to decide what type of life they want. <coughs> you wanna be the nigga that she called when she hungry, or you wanna be the nigga that she called when she horny and shit. It's the fuck, it's the same phone. It worked both ways. It's just which nigga are you? It's a nigga getting that call when she horny, and it's a nigga that's like, yo, don't call you hungry. Do you ain't eat? Well, call me when you figure that out, and I'll be over. It's that nigga. She still gonna call that nigga. That's how y'all gotta treat y'all life and shit. You decide who the fuck you wanna be and shit. Cause I'm telling you, bro, this is all a fucking hoax and shit. I'm out here trying to be. Like I told black, like I told y'all, like man, 
like I, I don't want y'all to like me. I want to demonstrate my abilities. And everybody, hey man, you had hey, if, if you didn't understand it, you could you could kind of respect it because I feel like a lot of people respected that. Like, hey, fuck it. I don't try. I tell you, I don't trust none of these niggas, so I can't tell you to trust me. Let me demonstrate my shit first, right? That's how it was. So now it's like, hey man. If you don't trust me, you don't have to. The fuck? Like, I don't understand what else I can do. But niggas, I got my people that trust me. I got my people that fucks to me. And I'm cool with that, man. I'm cool with that. And I want y'all to be cool with that. I want y'all to live in a real world. Let's not live on TV. Let's not live and make believe. Let's not live in a world where we got to buy motherfucking pussy. And and the motherfucker only want to fuck with you because of what you, what you can do for her and shit. Like, imagine if a if a nigga could say, if a grown man could say, I could do bad all by myself. I could do bad all by myself. What nigga gonna say some shit like that? A nigga can't say that shit. I could do bad all by myself. Like, bro. We gotta, I'm telling you, like, we were like, this whole shit gotta go back to a recession, depression. Niggas, shh, niggas gotta snap out of this shit. For real, like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I knew it was like this summer, you could see all these girls with their booty shorts. All these girls had their ass out. You knew the money was running low. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had on booty shorts this summer, boy. It was ass out everywhere. You know the money running low. You can't tell the money running low when it's for show. Yeah. Shit was crazy, man. But yeah, I'm telling you, bro. You'll see how much money it takes to fucking live a happy life. But yeah, like I said, like for me, you know, like, it's just a mindset. It's just a mindset, man. Again, it's, it's my spirituality. It's the center of my mindset. And it's hard for people to grasp that. But, yeah, I don't, I don't look at money in terms of other people look at. You know what I'm saying? And, again, just because I'm attractive don't mean I'm fucking stupid. Don't mean I'm not going to be ahead of the game. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's what I be trying to tell y'all, too, about about taking your, your advantage of your abilities and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you might need to hit the lottery and put it in the bank. You might need to fuck around and, you know what I'm saying? Go play some pity pat, play some tonk, and put it in the bank. Whatever the fuck you need to do. To, like, I'm telling you, we live in a world right now where opportunity is everything. Not being opportunist. Not being one of these niggas, but but taking advantage of our opportunity, opportunity to be whole, opportunity to be one, opportunity not to be chasing. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying this Kevin Samuel shit is dead, because that shit left niggas chasing. It left you wanting. <coughs> Let's be honest. Like I said, man, at the time like we gotta like like. Like, it's sad how many girls want a coon. How many motherfuckers don't understand that this shit is coonery and buffoonery. That we shouldn't be out here chasing these crackers' tails and shit. All these motherfucking snake oil salesmen and shit. All these fancy-ass niggas and shit with no credits. With nothing to show for and shit. Like, these motherfuckers, like I said, I, like, I want to get on Umar so bad. I'm so mad at these niggas. Right? But I'm not. Why would I be mad at some niggas that, that's playing a game? That's playing a game and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at it, though. I, like I say, like, that's why I be telling y'all we got to stay focused. Because, again, what are these niggas going to do? How many of these niggas going to call the cops on you? How many of these motherfucking niggas going um, to call child protective services on you and going to fucking switch into an agent on you real quick? You know what I'm saying? Because these motherfuckers got 
the Jesus syndrome. These niggas is Hebrews. These niggas is Moors. These niggas done drunk the Kool Aid. They believe in this shit. Like, like I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, like I tell you all. Like again, I I never forget the premise because I don't always mention the premise. The premise is still there. Okay. Are we in a simulation? Are we living a game and shit? If we live in a game, these niggas is losing. If we doing player one, how many of these niggas is player one? You don't go through a game talking about, yeah, I need you to do this for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I need you to do this for me. I need you to go ahead and kill this mom. No, you the player one. You kill everybody. You do everything. So if we living in a simulation, what do that say about these people? What do that say about them and how, and how fucking good their game is going? If they not, if they want somebody to do it for them, if they don't want to sit here and learn how to do it themselves, and invest in themselves, and believe in themselves, and trust themselves, tell you that their game is garbage. Tell you that their game ain't even a game. It's like it's cinema mode. You know how like sometimes they got like you can you can sit there and watch Madden. You can watch Madden. It's it's it's. It's a part of Madden and shit where you can just watch the games and motherfuckers will sit there and play it. The, they play the computer will play the computer and shit. That's what niggas is doing and shit. They just sitting here watching the fucking like that's a real part of the game, my nigga. You can sit here and watch other the computer play the computer. Why would you want to watch the computer play the computer? Somebody called me and tell me that. Somebody put that in the chat. What's what, what's that about? 